In this how-to video, we are going to see how to do a system recovery. All Bosch DVR IP all-in-one systems come equipped with an M2 solid-state drive which contains a recovery partition that gives us the ability to restore the unit to its factory defaults. To restore the unit to factory defaults image, start the unit and press F7 during BIOS power on test. The recovery menu is going to be displayed. Select one of the following options from the menu. Initial factory setup. Please note that all data on the system will be lost. Restores the factory default image and deletes all data on the hard drives. Please make sure that you have a copy of the configuration and you have a copy of the recorded video, in case it's still needed. System recovery back to factory defaults. Restores to factory default image. Data on the hard drives will not be deleted. Please note that while the system recovery option doesn't delete video footage stored on the data hard drives, it still replaces the complete OS partition, including VMS settings. In order to access existing video footage after recovery, please make a backup of the VMS configuration. We are going to do an initial to factory setup. The warning message informing that all the data will be erased from the entire system is being displayed. Click OK and the recovery process will start. The process might take a while, so you need to have a little bit of patience. And by the way, the speed of the video has been changed here, so it doesn't go exactly this fast. <laughs> Once the image has been applied, the operation completed successfully message is going to appear and click OK to reboot the system. The unit is going to restart and the Windows initial setup is going to appear. The first step is to set up the region and language settings. Once the selection have been made, click Next, then accept the license agreement. The system will log in as administrator and it will reboot after having formatted the hard drives. After the system has reboot, the next step is to change the BVR admin password. The default one is uppercase WSS number 4 uppercase B, lowercase OSEH. So type in the new password, confirm the password, and as soon as the password has been successfully changed, the system is going to reboot twice. After the reboot, you are going to be logged in as limited user or kiosk mode and you can start now with the system configuration. Learn more about our products by accessing our Bosch Security and Safety Academy at www.boschsecurity.com.